check out the purchase I got at Lowe's. Right there, folks, is one of the wall sconces that goes in the kitchen area. Um, Steve is just unpacking it right now, but let me get you. There's a nice view of that thing. So it's kind of. I did order 12 volt Edison bulbs uh, to go in the wall sconce. We're just going to have to drill a hole and put a push button in there. I thought having it in the kitchen area would be nice, but I'm not going to have one back here just in case anyone's legs happen to hit it. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> These are 110 household things, and some of you may be wondering, can you use these 12 volt? And Steve, the correct answer is... Probably. Okay, there we have it. <laughs> so, actually, Neil picked these out. Neil has a, uh, a pretty good eye, pretty fashionable eye over there. Hey! And which one's the fashionable one? <laughs> the one I can take out. Don't ask me which one that is. <laughs> so Steve is just checking them out for these, because uh, we're going to have to possibly... Or, you know what you could do? You could do it vertical. Oh, wait, no. You have to do it sideways. But, um, yeah, so interesting. Fun household stuff. We're using household plugs on some of this stuff. Hey, hey. You can apparently use these things on 12 volt. Dax. Yes, sir. So you tell them that they can use these for 12 volts, but they must use a 12 volt bulb, not a regular bulb. Or Thank someone, you. Or someone will. We are only using this fixture to hold a 12 volt bulb. And, uh, um, uh, it's going to be running 12 volt power too. through. <laughs> so this is this is a regular house fixture, but if we use a regular house 110 bulb, bad things would happen. Okay. So only 12 volt bulbs if you're wiring in 12 volts. The man knows his stuff. So I ordered an E26 Edison LED that fits in there. A19 is the shape, which is this. I got one that was a little bit more teardrop because of the man himself who picked it out. Dun dun dun. Um, so anyways, we're just uh, moving along here. We got water boom in the back, uh, putting in the bed, uh, thingamajiggy. Like I said, if any, all these guys are for hire. Yo, Dean, do you want a solar job if anybody hits you up? No. No, okay, <laughs> except for Dean. Water boom's up for it. Eric and his tools. Eric and his tools, Steve Punk Steam uh, install stuff, so hit these guys up. We got uh, Dave out here. Yo, Dave, thanks for painting, dude. <laughs> we got we got Dave Wanders out there. We got a whole crew over here. So this is this is quite exciting. So, anyways, I'm gonna get to work. We'll check in a little bit later. I need to install that thing All right. at some point. Here, what are you making me? I'm making you a temporary toilet until you get whatever you're going to uh, going to use mm -hmm. for permanent. This is an interesting system that he has here. So he's got a. a a lid that screws on, and I, I'll be using this until yeah. I get a uh, a real toilet. Very basic system. Oh, so this is uh, I'm having a temporary toilet. Neil was nice enough to uh, share a uh, a toilet technique because I don't have a toilet yet. So uh, this is going to be very handy. So this so, is is there a name for this? Um, I don't know. It's basically a composting toilet, except. Uh, you probably won't ever compost it. You'll probably throw it away. Mm -hmm. But it's a basic thing. So you take a little, this is a uh, two and a half gallon pail. And it goes right down in here. Just like this. Inside this bucket. Now we have a three and a half gallon bucket sitting on top of a five gallon bucket, just like that. And the five gallon bucket is to uh, boost you up off the ground a bit, right? Boost you up off the ground. And also... The five gallon bucket is for this. Whatever material you want to use, husks. Um, oh, for storage. Bedding. Yeah, so you uh, you take your uh, bedding material, whatever you're using, your medium for um, for taking care of business can go in here. So that is a... Just just like that. Now this goes on top. That stuff compresses. So, you take care of business, right? You lift this bucket off. You take a handful of material. So to prepare for a number two, you 
So fill it, so you fill it with uh, wood chips or uh, uh, like hamster bedding. Material, whatever you're going to use. So you put it in there, you take care of business, you pull this off, you grab a handful, throw it in there on top of your business, set this back down, so you've got storage, and then this is a gamma seal lid that you put on. That's why you use a smaller bucket, so the smaller bucket can have a trash bag on it. And then spin that up tight, and uh, no odors. And when you need to when you need to empty this, you just pull this pail out, bag it up, throw it away, compost, whatever. It's all right there. So this pail stays clean. This pail stays clean, but they're two separate they're two separate deals. Does that make gotcha. sense? Yep, I got gotcha. you. Anyway. Excellent. That is a, uh, a great solution, and, and this cost me all of about, I don't know. 15 ten, bucks. Yeah, I was going to say 10 bucks, 15 bucks. A lot cheaper than those $1,000 toilets, guys, because I still do not want to buy a $1,000 toilet. If somebody wants to give me one, then I'll use it, but uh, I'm on a budget, so I'm going to be using the bucket system. All right. Thanks, dude. Let me see the camera. All right. Let me see the camera. All right. All right. $500. All right, now let's see right. if uh, see if you fit. There we go. That's it. Welcome to the van life. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Van down by the river. Crapping in a bucket. High tech bucket. Wonderbum, what are you doing back here, buddy? I am fitting some nice plywood pieces in here for your bed so that uh, you'll have a nice consistent line, but then these pieces will be fixed in the back, but then this piece and the one on the other side will be able to be lifted up and opened up to access the water tank uh -huh. or the electrical on the other side. Awesome. Awesome. Now I know, guys, there there is a little uh, darkness happening. It is not the quality of the camera. I have it on auto. If I were to switch over to manual, it could work. I just don't want to. So we're just going to deal with a little darkness. I will point it towards a, a properly exposed area, but that's because that's what happens when you use a camera and there is something bright in the background or outside <laughs> and you're inside in a darker space. All right? So I know everybody likes to say, I can't see anything. When I turn on the lights, it doesn't really do much because it is, that's what happens indoors during the day. Contrast. Mm -hmm. Sounds like camera operator error to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so, Steve, what do you got going on here, buddy? I'm taking apart <laughs> the thing I put together three times. Yes. <laughs> well, we're, we're putting in the uh, small climbing wall. <laughs> oh, actually, I might, it might be a good idea to put a couple st uh, yeah, we were climbing steps. talking about that while you were gone yesterday. Oh, that's funny. That's this, funny. Get this, this will close this in, and we'll be all... Uh, now, if we want to add a shaker look to that, should we do that before we install that thing? If you want to what? Like a shaker look to it? Yeah, put I'm going to... Well, no, I'm, yeah, I'm going to... Well, yes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I, we were planning for three quarter here, but then now that's three quarter. But when you mention that, it's going to make it thicker. So oh. I'm gonna actually put a. I'm going to put a fatter, solid piece all the way across. Okay. The okay. Edge there, so that you got it. Yeah, nice, my uh, my idea kind of mess. Unless you think it's all right to have a plain, you know, wall. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. It's it's your what you got to live with. So. Uh, all right. You well, it's not the end of the world. Like the rest, we can. It wouldn't be that hard. But I don't know. Do you think it would look better, guys? What do you think? Comment below. So we went to. Uh, Lowe's yesterday. We got some uh, some stain. I opened up this uh, Provincial. I got Early American. I got two gallons of each. Dave Wander said, hey dude, why don't you uh, cut it with mineral spirits? This is uh, not cut right now. So uh, as you can see, it's going pretty dark, but it does match pretty well with the darks of the countertops and with the darks of the floor. So we're going to have that nice dark cream, dark cream, dark thing going on. And uh, we're gonna differentiate ourselves from Mike's bus. Mike's bus is great. I'm going for better than Mike's bus on this one. Right, current life situation, one room is talking to me about trim. trim. What do you got there, buddy? Well, we were going around about the how we're gonna finish out these nice outside corners, and uh, we have some of this uh, nice stuff that's uh, equal, you know, equal size. It's about uh, what is it? almost seven-eighths both ways, um, pine, and uh, we'll be cutting that down and put a nice piece over the mm -hmm. corners to finish it out real nice, and we'll paint it up so it mm -hmm. match the cabinets. Match the cabinets. All right, sounds good. Steve's over here. Steve, what are you doing? I'm going to thicken up this door jam. Mm -hmm. Why? 
Tell us. You got hinges, right? Yes. And the hinges are bigger than the the uh, two by. So this will give us. We got a two by four on this side. This will give us more or less two by four on this side. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take same kind of thing and just go right on up. You know what this is looking like, Steve? It's like a bus. Looks. It's looking like the cat's pajama. <laughs> I, I leave it to you. I leave it to you to try and put pajamas on my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Not advised. Beautiful wall here. And thank you to Steve for uh, for helping out with this. Let's jump in the back and I'll show you where the real pajama action is going. I uh, primed the whole top side of the bed platform here. I'm trying to avoid the uh, windows in the frame because, you know, it'll make everything dark. But this is a nice primer. And uh, get a little light sand, get some of these bumps out. And uh, we will paint it, that uh, nice cabinet cream. Uh, we we're down to less than a gallon, so hopefully we make it through uh, everything. But uh, there is a chance I will have to put a couple coats on somewhere else. All right, got an update. We got the night crew. We got West Transcend Existence. <laughs> Transcendence bus, Dean, myself. We got the orange gloves out. Now we're about to do something completely off the charts. This was not planned. We just decided to do this uh, a couple days ago. We did. We, I, it was a experimental <laughs> thought, a consciousness between the group. Anyway, so uh, we have option A, which was the darker side, and option B, the lighter one. And so my brain says maybe we should go for the lighter of the two because it is a ceiling. So that's what we're going to do. We're putting gel stain we are putting chestnut gel stain on the ceiling. These guys are going to be the appliers. I'm going to be the wiper. It's yeah. going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Ready, set, go, guys. Let's get to it. This is the last little bit we got. The fans are going. The heater's on. The uh, door is open. We are trying to ventilate because we have an abundance of brain cells, and we are losing them by the minute here. We were too smart. We had to kill them off. We're, we all have very good brains, and we're all very stable geniuses. <laughs> And uh, so this is the last bit. Uh, we do have a couple areas to tighten up over here. Let's do a little walkthrough. The lights are going to be in the way and distracting. We'll pop them in probably tomorrow. Just let this stuff dry. But this definitely closes it in a bit. Makes it a bit more cabin feeling. Here is what it used to look like. Here is what it currently looks like. But I said. But like I said, the uh, lights are definitely changing the look of this thing, so it did turn into kind of a wine barrel uh, look. I did the closet like that as well to match. Like I said, this could be a different color. I'm not really sure what's going on. So uh, we are closing in. I'm going to throw on another pair of gloves and uh, get to staining. Mm -hmm. 